there's this longing for purpose more now than ever. It's like you just followed the feeling. You just followed that inspired action. Our purpose actually is already dwelling within us. We don't actually have to go out and get it. We just have to release the blocks to the presence of it. I am so excited to chat to you. You are prolific, Gabby. You have a million books, what it feels like. Uh, You have programs, products, you're a speaker, and everything you do is to help others. And I really love that about you. You really are of service. And one of the things that I really wanted to focus on today is what you have created with your Spirit Junkie Masterclass. It's amazing, by the way. It's so in-depth. You've covered everything in this program from overcoming fear, which is one of the biggest things for so many people, how to step into your purpose, which we're going to talk about today, how to make money from your work, how to manifest media for your business, how to do soulful marketing and soulful social media, which I want to touch on and how to be an author and a speaker and and so much more. But for someone listening who has absolutely no idea what their purpose is, which I hear a lot. And I'm sure you hear this a lot too. It's like, I don't know what my purpose is. I don't know what I'm meant to do in this world. What would you say to them? Sure. Well, listen, I, uh, first of all, thank you for the glowing review of the masterclass. I'm so grateful for that coming from you. Uh, so we are in a stage in life right now, in particular, when folks are really feeling like there's this potential turning point. There's a potential for a breakthrough. And there's a lot of change happening around us, so we have the desire to change with it often. And if anyone's watching you right now and watching this, they definitely have a desire to to grow and elevate. And so there's this longing for purpose more now than ever. And purpose is something that I think a lot of people think that it's something they have to find or it's something they have to develop or cultivate. But in fact, our purpose actually is already dwelling within us. We don't actually have to go out and get it. We just have to release the blocks to the presence of it. And our purpose is to live in a state of inspiration and allow whatever it is that we're creating in the world, whether it be a baby or whether it be a business, that it be coming from a place of inspiration. And so rather than trying to figure out what my purpose is based on some vocation or some you know, amount, of, uh, amount of credentials, it's really about developing a life that is based on inspired action. So rather than looking for some big, big dream, we want to get grounded in what brings us joy, what brings us inspiration. And when we're in that state of focusing daily on what brings us inspiration, our purpose will be presented to us. It will be crystal clear. And that was the case for me. You know, I, I was out there just speaking publicly for free. Nobody was paying me when I was starting out. I was just putting it out there, getting on stages, give me a microphone, and I was in my happy place. And that became my life purpose. That became my mission to extend a very empowering message through, through my spoken voice and through books. And that's not something that I even necessarily knew was happening at the time that I first started. It's like you just followed the feeling. You just followed that inspired action. You didn't logically think, oh, I'm going to go do this. You just followed that feeling. Is that correct? Yeah, I think that's exactly right. And you can have an idea or a desire or a vision of what you want to create in the world. There's nothing wrong with that. But the real work, the real, the real way to allow that to manifest into your life and to allow it to be purpose-driven is to make sure that every action you're taking is coming from a place of inspiration and not a place of control, not a place of forcefulness, not a place of trying to make something happen. Because that, you know, make it happen, that energy is very deflective. It doesn't, it's not a, a sexy, attractive, vibrant vibrant energy that the universe can respond to properly. So we want to make sure that we're not taking those, uh, those actions towards our visions from a place of control. Yes, absolutely. And it feels different in your body when you're coming from that place of control and, and force and fear. It doesn't feel as high vibe as when you're just flowing and you're coming from that inspired action. 
it doesn't feel high vibe at all. Really what you're going to feel is just a lot of lack. You're going to feel out of control. You're going to feel low energy. You may get sick even in that state. So when people, I see lots of people get sick when they're pushing and controlling, that gets them to a place of, you know, total, uh, dis-ease in their being, in their presence, and their body. So when we are in alignment, which is what I would refer to as in inspiration, we feel good, we have intuitive ideas, we don't have to figure things out because the inspiration shows us where to go and what to do. I have built my entire life and my business based on that energetic alignment. And whenever I've been out of alignment, things just didn't work. It would not work. So it's the most important, most crucial step to creating what it is that you're here to bring forth in the world.